Hello, welcome to the new section, Antivirus Evasion and Anti-Forensics. In this section we will start with using encoders to avoid AV detection and then look at anti-forensics. Now we move on to the first video of this section, using encoders to avoid AV detection. In this video, first we are going to run the Shikata Gar Nai encoder and check for the detection, then use the same encoder 10 times and check for the detection. After that, we will use opt sub encoder. Following that, we will use 7 zip compression utility and finally see sandbox. We have used the MSF Venom utility to generate various payloads. Now in order to avoid antivirus detection of our payload, we need to use encoders offered by the MSF Venom utility. To get started, we will generate a simple payload in the EXE format using the Shikata Gar Nai encoder. Using this command, we will generate the payload. Once the payload has been generated, we upload it to the site's virus total for analysis. Now upload the Apache update. As the analysis is completed, we can see that our file apache-update.exe containing a payload was detected by 50 out of the 64 detection. This is quite a high detection rate for our payload. Sending this payload as it is to our victim is less likely to succeed due to its detection rate. Now we'll have to work on making it undetectable from as many antivirus programs as we can. Simply encoding our payload with the Shikata Gar 9 encoder once didn't work quite well. The MSF Venom utility also has the option to iterate the encoding process multiple times. Passing our payload through multiple iterations of an encoder might make it stealthier. Now we'll try to generate the same payload, however, this time we'll run the encoder 10 times in an attempt to make it stealthy. Encode it 10 times using the command as shown. Now that the payload has been generated, we again submit it for analysis on virustotal.com. As seen, the analysis results show that this time our payload was detected by 50 antivirus programs out of 64. So it's the same and still not good enough. Now, to further try and make our payload undetectable, this time we'll try changing the encoder from Shikita Gar Nai to a new encoder named Opt Sub, as shown. We'll run the encoder on our payload for five iterations. And I think this will have a low detection rate. Let's hope for the best. Once the payload has been generated, we will again submit it to this site for analysis. Cool, this time the results look much better. Only 30 antivirus programs out of 64 were able to detect our payload, as compared to 50 out of the 64 earlier. This is certainly a significant improvement. It's less than half, so we can certainly go for the opt sub. You have probably worked out that there is no single secret video that can make our payload completely undetectable. The process of making payload undetectable involves a lot of trial and error methods, using various permutations, combinations and iterations of different encoders. You have to simply keep trying until the payload detection rate goes down to an acceptable level. However, it's also very important to note that at times running multiple iterations of an encoder on a payload may even damage the original payload code. Hence, it's advisable to actually verify the payload by executing it on a test instance before it's sent to the target system. Let's see using packages and encryptors. Previously, we have seen how to make use of various encoders in order to make our payload undetectable from antivirus programs. However, even after using different encoders and iterations, our payload was still detected by a few antivirus programs. In order to make our payload completely stealthy, we can make use of a called encrypted self-extracting archive feature offered by a compression utility called 7-Zip. 
To begin, we'll first create a malicious PDF file named bank statement containing a payload and check its detection on the site VirusTotal. First, scan the PDF bank statement. The analysis shows that our PDF file was detected by 32 antivirus programs out of the 59 available. Now using the 7-zip utility, we convert our malicious PDF into a self-extracting archive. Now we will create bankstatement.exe file, which will create SFX archive. It has been created. You can upload it on the site like this. The analysis result shows that the PDF file that was converted into a self-extracting archive got detected by 24 antivirus programs out of the 64 available. This is much better than our previous attempt that was 30 detection out of 64 available antiviruses. Now to make the payload even stealthier, we will convert our payload into a password protected self-extracting archive. This can be done with the help of the 7-zip utility, as shown. You need to go back to the PDF add archive with bankstatement.exe. Select update mode as add and replace files. Then select create SFX archive. And finally enter the password under encryption part. Hit OK. You can see it has been replaced with the same name. Now we'll upload the password encrypted payload to the site VirusTotal and check the result. Interestingly, this time none of the antivirus programs were able to detect our payload. Great! Now our payload will go undetected throughout its transit journey until it reaches its target. However, the password protection adds another barrier for the end user victim executing the payload. Now let's look at Sandbox. Whenever we execute an application, be it legitimate or malicious, some of the events that occur are as shown. Application directly interacts with the host operating system. System calls are made. Network connections are established. Registry entries are modified. Event logs are written out. Temporary files are created or deleted. New processes are spawned. Configuration files are updated. All the shown events are persistent in nature and change the state of the target system. Now, there might be a scenario wherein we have to test a malicious program in a controlled manner, such that the state of the test system remains unchanged. This is exactly where a sandbox can play an important role. Imagine that a sandbox is an isolated container or compartment. Anything that is executed within a sandbox stays within the sandbox and does not impact the outside world. Running a payload sample within a sandbox will help you analyze its behavior without impacting the host operating system. There are a couple of open source and free sandbox frameworks available. First is the sandboxy.com. Other is the cuckoosandbox.org. You can explore more using these sites.